Hello and welcome to Test Automation Central. Today's video is entirely focused on SQL interview questions and answer with a specific emphasis on the employee's table. Instead of a conventional slides or presentation, we will take a hands-on approach and provide live demos of various SQL queries. Whether you are a back-end developer, full-stack engineer or automation specialist, SQL knowledge is vital in today's interview. So without any delays, let's jump right in and get started. Question number one. Retrieve all records from the employees table. So let's write select R from employees. Okay. Once we run the query, it will fetch all the records from the employees table as shown in the result set. Okay, so we have the column employees number, birth date, first name, last name, gender, and hire date. Question number two select specific column, first name, and last name from the employees table. When we do the select star from employees, it will fetch all the records from the employees as well as all the column. It is first name and last name. So let's write select first underscore name comma last underscore name from employees. Okay. Now, once we execute the query, we will get all the records from the employees table with only the specific column name that is first name and last name likewise if you want to fetch the records for employees number right we can run the query and it will fetch only the record employee number and last name question number three filter records to find employees with specific gender example m4 males and f4 females so let's write select star from employees so here we have to specify a condition where gender equals to m so what, let's run this query here we can see all the records fetching the result set are with the gender m so what if if you want to fetch the record with female employees that is f just select and run this query so here Record with all the females in the result set is display. Question number four, sort employees based on the higher date in the ascending order. So here we have a higher date and we want to fetch the record and sort in the ascending order. So let's write select star from employees order by. So we will use order by to sort the higher debt. So we have to provide the column name that is higher debt. So let's run this. So if you see by default, VT is sorted in the ascending order. Doesn't matter if you are providing ascending or not, it will be sorted in the ascending order. Let's run this query one more time. You can see it is still sorted in ascending. Okay. What if we want to sort in descending? Then we have to explicitly provide the descending. Okay, now let's run this query and we can see that higher date is sorted in descending order. Question number five, retrieve employees who were hired on the first day of any month. So here we have the higher date and this is the complete date format and we want to look only for the day that is 28. So instead of 28, we will look out for people who are hired on the first day of the month that is 0, 1, or 1. So for that, write select R from employees where. So let's use the SQL function day. It will get only the day of the particular date. That is from higher date, we will only get the day. So here, provide the column name higher underscore date is equals to 1. So once we run the query, we can see first day of any month is shown or displayed. Question number six, group employees based on the gender and find the count of employees in each gender category. So let's write select gender comma count star from employees group by gender let's execute this query so we can see in the result set the count of employees in each gender category is displayed 
Question number seven, find the earliest hire date among all employees. For that, write select min. So we will use the min function and the higher, write the hire date column in the min function that is hire date from employees. Let's execute this query. And we can see the earliest hire date. What if we want to find the employee who has hired recently? So instead of min, we can use the max function here and run this query. And we we'll question number eight: find employees whose first name starts with T. So let's write select uh, from employees where first underscore name like we will use the like keyword and in single quote put the t starts with t right so we have to put the percentile symbol so let's execute this query and we can see in the result set first name with the starting letter t is printed in the result set question number nine update the higher date of an employee with a specific employee number example set the higher date to 2023 for employee number 101 or we will take 1007 okay which is this one so let's write the query update employees set higher underscore date is equals to 2023 01 and 01 then write the condition that is employee underscore number okay, equals to 10007. Now let's run this query. So it got successfully executed. So let's verify whether it really updated the higher date or not. So let's write select star from employees. where higher where employee underscore number is equals to this one so let's execute this so we can see that the higher date is successfully changed to 2023 01 and 01 question number 10 find employees who were hired in the year 1995 so let's write select star from employees where year so to get the higher date right we want to get only the year part so we use the function year and pass the column name that is higher underscore date is equals to 1995 now let's run this query and in the result set we should see the employees who were hired in year 1995. Question number 11. Retrieve the names of employees who have the same first name. So let's write select first name comma count star from employees group by first underscore name then we will use having font star greater than one so now let's run this query so we can see the count of first name who are having the same first name for example, Georgie. Question number 12. Find the youngest and oldest employees from the employee table. For that, we will use two functions, minimum and maximum. That is min and max equal function. So let's write select. We'll use minimum min function and pass the column that is birth underscore date. Minimum will, will be young, oldest. Okay. Comma. Max will be the youngest uh, employee. So provide the column name that is birth underscore date from employees. Now let's run this query. 
so we can see the oldest employee and the youngest employee so we can give same as as youngest let's execute one more time so we got the oldest and youngest employees in the company from the employee table question number 13 retrieve employees who were hired on monday so for the right select star from employees where so we will use the sql function day of week okay so right day of week and pass the column name where we want to select which day of the week that is the higher date higher underscore date is equals to two so we wanted to look up select on monday right so sunday is the starting so it will be one and monday is two that's the reason we have selected if the question is on tuesday it will be three so let's execute this query so we can see the employees who are hired on monday is shown in the result set question number 14 retrieve employees who are hired in the current year so let's right select star from employees where we will use the year function pass the higher date column higher underscore date is equals to year and we will use the year function and we will pass the current year or the current date which takes the year okay now let's run this query so we can see in the result set the current higher current year higher date that is 2023 is shown in the result set question number 15 delete the record from the employees table whose employee number is 10045 before we delete let's retrieve the value or employee details for 10045 select star from employees where employee number is equals to 10045 let's execute this query okay and also we will comment this query to reuse now write delete delete from employees where employee underscore number is equals to 10045 let's execute this query so it got successfully executed now let, let's run this query should not have any value and result set is empty 